Hi, I'm Leslie from Northfield Township Area Library, and today I'm going to show you a project I'm doing at home with my kids. Um, it's like a STEAM project. We call it our Slice of Life mural. It's kind of like if you took a big slice of the earth and you have above ground and below ground. Um, this started as a very self-directed activity. My older daughter is going on seven, and she wanted to bring the outside inside. So she first started by just adding these simple trees and the sky and she drew a little sun. And then she also drew this bunny in a burrow. Um, and so I kind of invited her to take that a little further by putting up this blue piece of ground tape that was all the way across and represents above ground, below ground and talked about what more life could we add to it. So for her, she added a nest and some eggs. She has a bird here that's um, catching a worm. So it's actually pulling that worm out of the ground as we speak. Um, we're still in progress. When we do a project like this, we keep the supplies out and the girls just kind of keep coming and going to it through the week. Uh, so little by little, this is our pond. She's uh, working on Art for Kids Hub. It's a great YouTube channel. And she is going to be drawing a swan later with Art for Kids Hub. So then she's gonna cut that out and add it here with some grass she has planned. This is a carrot garden that my younger daughter, who's about three and a half, she's working on that. And so it's it's got the science, engineering, art, math, all kind of wrapped up in here with the carrots. She's got four more carrots here. So she's counting. She helped me decorate the details on the carrots and she's gonna be adding these later. Um, even for the three and a half year old telling her, you know, we cut out butterflies. Where do butterflies live above or below the ground? Um, and she cut up all the worms knowing they're below the ground. So even for your youngest, um, for older kids, you could take this many steps further. You could um, have them actually more specifically uh, measure out and plan this out on paper and actually do more to scale. So they would actually be doing the engineering and the math in that aspect. You could have them also write about this if they want to do a writing project or something about their plan, what it works, what their life is that they're showing. You could also do this with, as opposed to just a nature life scene, older kids could take this in a direction like civil engineering and they could do like a home and all the pipe work and duct work that goes into the home and tape it up. Um, when she first started with things like the pond, she asked about, you know, what, what shape does it look like when you look at a pond or a lake from the side? And so we Googled images of ponds and lakes and it really challenges her spatial reasoning, her mind's eye of, you know, what would things look like if you took this profile image and cut it in half. So again, this is all ages. I'm having a lot of fun with it myself, um, you know, with the littles helping them, you know, I'm, you know, if she's not really into all the cutting, I'm doing some of the cutting for her, letting her glue the pieces together, letting her come and tape them on the wall. Um, but so share with us, uh, if you do any kind of murals in your house, on your wall, post pictures, share ideas with us like this, and we hope to see you soon.